Blackburn. Now, they're vitally important working animals for many communities, but the number of donkeys around the world is shrinking rapidly because of demand for their skins in China, where they're used for traditional medicine. A British charity, the Donkey Sanctuary, is leading an international campaign to halt the trade until it can be properly regulated. Africa's been particularly badly hit. Alistair Leithhead reports now from Kenya. Across Africa, donkeys are working animals. This is a common sight throughout the continent, but their future is in jeopardy. Carlos makes a living delivering water, earning just five or six dollars on a good day. But now he has to rent a donkey after his was stolen and killed for its skin. And that's more than half his income. He's really upset talking about the animal he looked after and worked with for four years. And now it's affecting his family. There's a big difference to me now. I don't have enough money. I haven't paid my rent. I haven't paid school fees. And I have people who depend on me. Well, donkeys are a really important part of the economy, particularly in poorer neighborhoods. Here, filling up as water trucks where there's no main supply, supplying concrete for building works, and even sometimes acting as removal vans. The price of a donkey has doubled in two years because they're in demand. This is one of Kenya's three donkey abattoirs. Brought in from across the country, they're sold by live weight. Chinese buyers monitor the process. That's where the skins are heading. Once they're salted and dried. Donkey meat is also popular in China, so that's exported too. So many people are benefiting from the donkey now today. We are happy with the Chinese country because before there was nothing coming out of the donkey. This is the finished product. Health foods and medicine containing ijiao, a gelatin made from boiled donkey skins. China's running out of donkeys, so suppliers are looking elsewhere. Across Africa, donkeys are being rounded up and sold. This is Botswana. They're being killed here on a huge scale. And this is Ghana. Governments are starting to ban the trade because of its impact on poor communities. The donkey sanctuary in the UK has been leading the international campaign to have the trade stopped. This is the biggest crisis donkeys have ever faced. We're talking about millions of animals and we're talking about suffering on a scale we've never witnessed before. Billy, Billy, Billy. And with donkey prices now so high, Carlos can't afford another. People across Kenya and the continent are losing their animals and their livelihoods. Alice Alithead, BBC News, Nairobi.